My name is Mario Martinez. I'm uh, the infrastructure manager for Lean Energy, and my current role is to integrate, uh, maintain, and support the infrastructure technologies, which include storage, server environments, virtualization, uh, communications, and telephony. Lin Energy is a top 15 publicly traded multi-billion dollar EMP organization. Our staff is consistent of 1,800 plus and constantly growing. Uh, we have over 40 field offices in the continental United States uh, with our headquarters in Houston, Texas. Lin Energy was a traditional PBX system. It was very limited in technologies. The only thing we could do with it was basically make phone calls and listen to voicemail. Uh, but one of the things that got us into Link was the scalability of it. Uh, when we started looking for other different technologies to do the same thing as provide that collaboration suite, uh, the cost was very intense. It was almost three quarters of a million dollars. Well, as we tried to grow LIN, uh, we found that with half that cost, we were able to deploy LINK across the enterprise with half that cost. Uh, with LINK, we're using obviously the, the phone calling system mechanism, but also the voicemail. Uh, but the quality of service is great as well, right? Um, and that's been very helpful. Some of our areas, uh, when we communicate to Oklahoma City or California, you know, we have to have that quality for our executives, and that's what Link delivers. Survivability is important to Lynn because certain sites have different roles and, and they're very critical. But in the case they have an accident, they need to be able to maintain or at least receive emergency services from the local government. The way we address the survivability is by using the audio code median SBA. Uh, usually what we try to do is use the fiber data connectivity into it to provide quality of service, but in the case that fails, we use the analog portion for fail safe. The SBAs have been extremely reliable. It's basically one of those appliances that you set it and you forget it. Uh, we've, we've never had an issue with them. Uh, they're, they're basically one of those tools that once configured properly, uh, your staff can go on to other things and, and be productive elsewhere. Working with AutoCodes has been phenomenal. I mean, I've had the pleasure to meet the CEO of the organization and he's taken a valid interest in what we're doing and where we're going with, with, with their product. So it's been very impressive. Uh, I, I like the fact that the support aspect has been excellent. Uh, the attention that the executive level pays for our needs is, is great. As we continue to grow, the number of sites are obviously going to increase. So I see the uh, audio code is playing a significant part bringing that communication, that quality of service into those facilities. What we want to really start doing is start leveraging the security features that the device provides. Uh, one of the things that we're heavily looking into is the resilient routing uh, and also the uh, SIP flooding prevention. Um, so those are all the, the next steps and, and where we want to take it. Uh, obviously the relationship is still of great value and we wanted to see if we can impact some of the development and the product roadmaps that are coming. Working with AudioCodes has been extremely productive and beneficial. Uh, we've seen, as our sites have grown, they've been there for us, the support's been great, the, the product's reliable, the, uh, the staff is great, and, and the executive staff to, to meet is awesome. So I see this as a great partnering relationship for years to come.